dears, and welcome to our little support group. I'm Mr. Tanella Fogg. And I'm Pauline Sidebottom. And I'm Natasha Kozlowski. And we are Cox. Confident, Confident older, older chicks. chicks. And we're here to offer practical guidance and nurturing support for both women and men. Especially for those women and men who are young at heart and old everywhere else. Today's issue is a social media problem. Are you there, Helen? Hi, Citronella. Hello, my dear. Tell us, what seems to be the problem? I've been married for eight years. And ever since the updates came out, we've been using the thumbs in Messenger. But when we used to communicate, my partner would often reply with a big thumb. And if not that, then he'd nearly always use a medium thumb. But in the last few months, he started using a small thumb. And now that's all he uses for everything. I'm beginning to worry that he's fallen out of love with me or, or worse, having an affair. Uh. Okay, I think we'll start with Natasha. Any thoughts? Ask him if he wants a threesome and see what thumb you get. Stop that! This is serious! Helen. Yes? Are you on antidepressants? Why? Okay. I want you to go to your doctor uh -huh. and ask him to increase the dose. What? Natasha! Well, what? The woman's either a nutcase or a drama queen. Oh! How dare you! I am not a drama queen. Well, Helen, I think your fears are valid. Thank you. So you think she's right to question her relationship based on the inadequate size of her partner's thumb? When it comes to men, let's be honest. Size is the only thing that matters. Big, great. Medium, okay. Small. If he can't make it big for you, then who is getting his big thumb? That's what I've been thinking. I think it all the time. Pauline, I'd like to ask you a question and don't take this the wrong way. When's the last time you had a good lube and service? I'm not sure. You'd have to ask your husband. <laughs> you can keep him. And his thumb. Okay, girls, this is a family-friendly show and pro-feminist. Natasha, that was a little sexist. And Pauline, grow some balls. Helen. Yes? If you really want to save your relationship, I'd get him into counselling. Now. Oh, how could I be so blind? And his mum, she never liked me, that bitch! Helen. Yes? What if it's not an affair? What if it's just you? What do you mean? Well, maybe he's using small thumbs because you're not very interesting. Oh! What? Okay, now it's time to adjudicate. Helen, this time I'm going with Pauline. Girl, he's having an affair. Well, duh! Helen, do you have a sister? One you're really close to? Oh, yes! Well, I'd start with her. Trust me, you can't trust those bitches. Oh, well, I think that's a little unfair. Personally, I'd be looking at your friends. What? Think back. Is there one that finds him funny? Oh, yes, yes, I do. Oh, my God! Helen, if I were you, I would Google crime fiction. Because in some states, for women, it's still a credible defense. Hold on. Seriously, they can't move. Now, who's the drama queen? Small stones. It's not murder. It's manslaughter. And if he's over 50, it's a mercy thing. <laughs> Helen? Helen, dear? Helen! What? Do you have access to a file? 